To mimic studio-wide films, these lessons are recorded using 4K UHD video assets with aspect ratio 21 to 9 and 3840 by 1600 resolution. For best learning and viewing, utilize ultra-wide monitors, or for editing and following along, use two monitors or more. You can use your own media with any resolution when following these lessons as well. We'll do our best to zoom when needed. Again best if viewed on a 4K monitor while learning these techniques. We are going to start with a new empty project to demonstrate creating the timeline manually. We have all of our default media moved into smart bins. See lesson 1 to 4 for media pool organization and how we just created the smart bins and added our media to it from the pool. Now go to the top menu then file, click on new timeline or control plus N. Notice it will automatically number it based on how many timelines you have, in this case it is number 1. Let's create another one to demonstrate it further. Let's rename this one a timeline 2 to lesson 13 speed ramps. Choose create, and you can see it dropped it into the b-roll folder. Why did it do that? Not what I want. It is because whatever folders active is where new created items will automatically go. We can create an automatic smart bin for timelines. Notice that we have smart bins for keywords checked and indeed it is showing there in our project. Click smart bin for timelines and save. You will notice down here you now have a timeline smart bin, and both of our timelines we created automatically populate. Let's go into our b-roll folder. Let's hide the bins. Make these a little larger. I'm looking for a very specific clip. But the names are not very specific to what is on the clip. Let's click on UHD Mix 1.mov and load it into the viewer here on the left. Now if you click on this arrow, you can navigate to what you have already loaded in the viewer and Resolve will remember it in its history. So you don't have to reload over and over. Let's rename this clip directly from the B-roll folder. Click on the list icons. Find the clip and hold the mouse over it. Let's rename it to Lufthansa Jumbo Takeoff. You can imagine that maybe the producer wants all the Emirates takeoff into a montage or a quick video. I already created some clips and subclips here with that name using some video magic. But see lessons 5 and 6 for how to do that. So how you look for clips if you have so many. Clip on the search icon here, and start typing the name. Let's try and find Emirates. Notice nothing comes up. Why is that? You are filtering by file name, but since the original file name for these on the disk is UHD Takeoff 1, you will not find them. Change the filter to all fields. And here they are. So I have four clips that matches what the producer asked for. Let's drag the first clip to timeline speed ramps. Unlike the cut page, I can just drag and drop this clip to wherever I want. See lessons 20 to 24 for cut page overview if you like. I'll just drag it down and then move it to the very beginning. I'm going to make my video track a little larger, so we can see what's about to happen. Shift and mouse wheel on video track to make it larger, then we're going to zoom in a touch. So we're going to do a little speed ramp here and we're going to time it with the roll before takeoff. We're just going to slow the motion down here, and then we're going to speed it back up. So right about there where seems to have a dim frame, is where we want the speed ramp to start my slow motion. I'm going to right click, and choose re time controls, control R. Now, when you've got these blue arrows, it means that you're playing in real time. One hundred percent is real time. 
I click this down arrow, and I've got a bunch of controls here and I'm going to add a speed point. So what I want to do is start the slow-mo from right here. There is where I want to end the slow-mo and go back to real time. I'll click on this and choose add speed point again, now everything is still at 100%. You'll notice that I've got these little split outs now, as I add speed points, each of these can have its own independent speed. So I could go ahead and click on this and change speed and just set it to 50%. And the shot got longer. And when I hit play, slowed down and then he speeds back up again. I can also just drag these speed points directly, and then this will update down here. This number updates to tell me what speed, or how fast we're running in terms of percentages. I can even take this a little bit further. I could click on the arrow by the percentage speed, and set this point as a freeze frame. The clip freezes, then slows down, and picks back up again. Now what if I decide that I don't want to have a freeze frame sustain itself? I just want it to ramp down, hit the freeze frame and immediately start back up again. What I can do is right click on the clip and select retime curve. And now these points are keyframes that I can go ahead and move the keyframe closer to tighten the freeze time. If you drag down the clip will play in reverse and up will speed up. Notice the percentages here. That's another way of making changing to the speeds for each frame by frame on the section of the clip you are working on. Practice with that as it takes time to master. You can also change the speed of the lap part of the clip. If you hover toward the end, notice these arrow and point icons. Now move it to the left and the clips gets shorter or gets faster. Move to the right and it gets slower and the playing at 90%. Let's adjust the plane engine's sound, to be in real-time speed. Slow motion for sound can generate really weird unwanted results as you can hear. It's not what we want. But we want the speed ramps for the video. We could have unselected or unlinked the clips before adding speed ramps for audio, or we can just drag the audio from the main file and use that instead. If you want to truly get rid of the speed ramp, you decide you don't like it, or your client decides that not good enough. Come back to your controls and reset clip. And then hide your controls and you're back to real-time normal speed. It's that amazingly easy to create sophisticated speed ramps here on the edit page.